You're watching the Big Ten on ABC. Under cloudy skies, just stopped raining a moment ago here at University Park, Pennsylvania. Expecting a sellout crowd of over 106,000 here today for the sixth meeting of Akron and Penn State. What a cool weekend, huh? College football back. Big games tonight. Sunday, Monday. Oh. College football beginning in earnest as Penn State winning the opening toss, deferring to the second half. Tyler Davis will kick off. There he is, number 95, back deep, Van Edwards Jr. and A.J. Connolly for the Zips. Toe meets leather, and we are underway at Penn State. It'll come out first down and 10 for the Zips. Everybody's radar. Spent two years as a backup to Christian Hackenberg, and on the quarterback draw, he keeps it himself and picks up about six yards. You give him a chance down the field. Keep an eye on number 84. He's the tallest of the group. McSorley keeps it himself. Yeah. A little pressure coming. McSorley intercepted. That's Geyser. Picked off by Zach Geyser, the senior. In the end zone, he tried to find Juwan Johnson, but Geyser was sitting on it, Rod. Well, Geyser did a great job of disguising and getting over in the middle. McSorley had no idea that Geyser was coming over, and he kind of floated the ball in there to give his receiver, Johnson, a chance, but Geyser steps in and makes the play. That's a really good play by a really solid safety. Good quarterback, Thomas Woodson. Gets rid of it quickly, complete, but swarmed wide away. Marcus Allen making the tackle on Anthony would, Young. Would you stop it with the Marcus <laughs> Allen already? Looking at third and 11 here. They try to set up the screen, and ball met right away. Broke the tackle, but couldn't shake the second one. Ball loose. It's on the ground. No signal yet. Warren Ball might be a little rusty too because he took a hit from Ryan Buckles. Well, Manny Bowen was in there. There's ways to do it, Rob. We'll talk about it throughout the course of the broadcast. Gasser's punt rolls down to the 50-yard line where it stops, but there's a flag down back at the nine-yard line. Gas are limping a little bit. Might have been some contact. There was contact. Question I had is did they touch the ball at all on their way to him? Running into the kicker. Defense number nine. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. Take another look here. No, nope, ball wasn't touched. Thespian, or drama major, but he gets off a much better punt this time, Rod. Back to the 39. For the rest of us, can we just say after? Yeah, yeah. This is real. This isn't an act. Tompkins on the return. Tompkins. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Sixty-one yards in all. Well, he gets a wall to the left, and once he's in it, that's all she wrote. Nobody left but the kicker, no chance. There's no way in the world Tompkins is going back to the sideline with the kicker <laughs> taking him down. That was a beautiful wall they set up to the left for him. He got in that tunnel and was on his way. So on the re-kick, they punt it again after the penalty, and it ends up coming back for a touchdown for the Nittany Lions, who get on the board first. Davis with the extra point. And the reigning conference champions out of the Big Ten lead it when we come back to University Park. Anthony Young and Kadarius Smith with that speed. He goes up top here and intercepted by Ori Waria. 
What a play. Oruwaria does a great job, man coverage, as we talked about, getting the ball down the field, but that's great coverage, high points the football. You can't play it any better than that. Talk about man-to-man -man coverage, that is beautiful. First and 10, Penn State, when we come back. It's early with time underneath. Complete to Barkley, trying to make a play, picks up a block. Barkley dancing his way down to the 13. Are you kidding me? He knows how to find daylight. He changes directions two or three times here. You see his receiving skills. This is one of the things that the NFL scouts love about him. But the change of direction, the ability to find open space, I mean, that's instinctive. Wow. You know, Gusecki, 88, is six foot six. They haven't used him yet. That jump ball is a big yeah. part of their playbook, too. Oh, it's right there. That's Gusecki. Into the end zone. Gusecki! Touchdown, Penn State! Boy, do they have weapons. Three preseason All-Americans, and by the way, he's one of them, Mike Gesicki. Second leading receiver a season ago. His seventh touchdown catch of his career. And for McSorley, that's the 16th straight game that he's thrown a touchdown pass. The extra point good, and it's 14-0. Third down and two. It's sorely into the end zone. Incomplete. In and out of the hands of Deshaun Hamilton, who was working against Alvin Davis. You know, you're talking about Barkley. I, I don't think it's a stretch to say that his mom's decision mm -hmm. to move them from New York to Pennsylvania saved that family and saved Penn State football. It gave Penn State football Barkley. And Penn State's rise returned to prominence is behind Barkley the last couple of years and exploded last season because she made that decision that they needed to move to a safer place, safer yep. environment, and keep the family together. And Tyler Davis in to attempt this field goal rod, and he pulls it to the left. No good from 39 yards out. After a stellar season last year when he connected. Barkley with a gaping hole. And the gate is open. Saquon, say gone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Oh, he's, he's still in, in bounds. He's in there. That's the that, one that's closest. That's the one in question. It's sorely on the keeper. Waltz is in. Touchdown. Only a matter of time. The difference was that 80-yard run by Saquon Barkley setting it up. This is so wide open. Same play that they've run before. Pull the backside uh, lineman and kick out and huge hole for McSorley to run through and he gets the touchdown instead of Barkley. Killing his Heisman campaign. I tell man. you, yeah. <laughs> no campaigns week one, brother. No <laughs> campaigns. Come on, week one. you're such a buzzkill guy. Adjusting Rod. for it the entire off season. Second and twenty. McSorley, wide open. Gasecki, first and goal from the seven. And if he could have stayed on his feet, he'd have had six. Uh, he's not happy he's, about that. As he was growing up. Second and goal. Barkley got a good block, and Waltz is in for the touchdown. Kind of looking like the defending Big Ten champs, huh? They sure do. A lot of points to come. Nothing fancy here. Just pull two linemen, get out to the edge. 
and Barkley does the rest. Barkley with his 26 rushing touchdown of his career. And the Nittany Lions now lead 28 to nothing. Like his dad, Alabe, told him, don't be someone, be the next someone. Maybe the next Blair Thomas. To Jonna Carter. Or better. We really can. First and 10 from the 30. Johnson split to the bottom of your screen. They hand it off to Barkley. Getting to the edge. Turns the corner. Barkley. Goodbye. Touchdown. Jonesy, you see this freight train coming at you around the corner. You have to ask yourself, do you really want to get in front of this? Do you really want to get in front of that? <laughs> 230 pounds moving at a 4-3-4-4 clip, and he's got a shoulder he can lower, and he's not afraid to use it. Great wheels. After review, the ruling of a touchdown is confirmed. We had a great meeting with Saquon Barkley yesterday in the football offices. Uh, right, I was really impressed by the type of young man. He is very extremely humble and a real fan of football. You find a lot of student athletes these days don't really watch a lot of their respective sport. But he watches every single game, takes notes on other running backs. Have some new committee members as well this year. McSorley on the post, complete to Jawan Johnson for the first down. Deep in Akron territory, brought down by Geyser. Tyler Davis, who missed a little bit earlier today from 39. This one up and got it from 47 yards. Now a career long for Tyler Davis. 38-0 when we come back. And his family and himself. <laughs> Just within the South. He has Here he is on a wheel route over the left side. Yeah, mom and dad, pretty, pretty proud, Quint. They got him like that. But on the field, he looked like he could do anything. Sure can, Quint. Gusecki with the catch and his second touchdown reception of the game. And Penn State leads 44 to nothing. Barkley with a big play on that drive to set up the Gusecki reception from McSorley on the pass and. The big three rolling right along for Penn State. It's good to see Quint talk with Barkley's parents. A lot of respect and admiration for yeah. their, their approach. Football's not that important to them. Uh, they they, they, they them. care more about their family and how he carries himself. And Back at University Park, Pennsylvania, Mark Jones chopping it up for the first time this year with Rod Gilmore and Quint Kessenick down the sidelines. Little jet sweep back and Stevens passing to a wide open Hamilton. And Hamilton brought down inside the 40. So there's the trickery that we had projected, Quint, that gets kicked out of the game that you worry about. Well, first and goal after the penalty and the subsequent ejection of Deontay Moore. Tommy Stevens in this drive at quarterback. Got Jawan Johnson at the bottom of your screen for the potential jump ball, but he keeps it himself and scores a touchdown. Tommy Stevens. And he is, he is a fan favorite. He is more of your traditional Penn State kind of quarterback, six foot five, 224, built in the mode of Todd Blackledge, Kerry Collins, yes. Christian Hackenberg. He's used to kind of what they're used to seeing around here, not, not McSorley at six feet tall. But a lot of options, a lot of weapons, a lot of variables. They all seem to work, Rod, for Penn State. This is a loaded offense. For Stevens, that's his third rushing touchdown of his career. And the extra point makes it 52 to nothing. Gotta love the celebration. 52 to nothing, trouncing of... Akron in their season opener. 
And James Franklin has a lot of tools in the box this year as they move forward next week. Don't forget, coming up next, it's number 11 Michigan taking on number 17 Florida. For Rod Gilmore, Quint Kesnick, and our entire gang, I'm Mark Jones. Thanks for watching. It's going to be a great weekend of college football. So long from State College.